Hey friends, Allison here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with a new layout using the Unexpected Story Kit. This is a pocket page layout. There's two three by four inch pockets and then one four by six inch pocket in this layout. I'm working right now on the journal card that is going in one of those three by four inch pockets. I took one of the chipboard shapes from the kit and then I'm going to put one of these awesome fabric exclamation points over top of it. Because it adds a lot of bulk to this card, which by the way, the card itself is just a piece of plain white cardstock that's trimmed down to three by four inches. Because the exclamation point adds so much bulk, um, I do plan on adding a sticker on top of it, but rather than putting it over top of that exclamation point, I'm putting it inside the pocket, which you see me doing right now, and then I'm taking a sticker from Simple Stories sticker book that I have. I gotta double check the name of the collection because I'm not entirely sure what collection it's from. Um, but I take a phrase sticker out of that sticker book and I put it on the outside of the page protector. So if for whatever reason the card is taken out of it, it lays flat. This is a double page layout. I actually forgot that little point until just now. I thought that having an oversized photo to complement the left hand side of the page was in order. So this photo I printed at home, it is seven inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall. It's the same size as a page protector. And so that means it is not going inside a page protector. It's going inside my album as it is. I'll punch the holes into it after this video is done. I tend not to do it in the video because quite honestly, I tend to have issues with it while I'm doing it. I don't have a six hole punch. I just have the little single hole punch. So because it takes up a lot of time, I feel like anyways in a video, I just do it off camera because um, it's really not that important in the end anyways. So back to the photo, I am embellishing, I'm going to embellish the photo just a little bit. I took the unexpected die cut that came with the kit and glued it to the bottom of the photo. And then on top of that, I added, uh, I'm going to add a sticker from Simple Stories as well. I end up taking that pink typewriter that was in the top right hand of that sticker book. And then realized when I go to put it on the photo that it covers up all kinds of information that I don't want hidden. So rather than putting it back into the sticker book and finding something else, I just put it towards the left hand edge of where unexpected is and leave it at that. The oversized photo is done. So now I'm headed back to the pocket page. I pulled out these die cuts from the Happy Hearts collection, also from Simple Stories and pull out a uh, little gray heart. It takes a minute to find it in the pack of die cuts. There's actually two in this kit. I was thinking about using both of them, but they're both the same size and they're larger than I thought they would be. So I end up using only one. And then later on in the video, I end up putting one of the phrase stickers from the unexpected story kit over top of it. So this layout ends up being very text heavy. There's text on this four by six inch journal card. There's text in, well, journaling actually, in the other three by four inch journal card that is going in the pocket page. I leave the journaling alone uh, because this layout is about my kids, um, my one daughter specifically, but it applies to them both. Um, I wanted to ask her for her thoughts just to kind of summarize how they felt about getting their awards. And once I had done that, I just summarized what they had said and use that for my journaling. There is no pictures of the journaling. Um, I did that way after the fact. So you'll see a blank journal card in the close-ups. But once again, I don't really think, uh, I don't think it makes that big of a deal. That's it for me, friends. This layout came together really quickly and I love how it came out. I got close-ups here, so feel free to stick around for those. I will include links to the products that I used in today's layout. So if you need these in your stash, you will be able to find them easily. Welcome to another week. I hope you have a good one. See you again soon.